Oh, breaking news, breaking news. From, I first found this, uh, this article. It's an interesting article. You're going to enjoy this one. It's um, from the, uh, originally from uh, True Pundit, pointed uh, from their page. If you're not a fan of True Pundit, or if you're not subscribed, or you don't read True Pundit, you should. Uh, Thomas Paine, excellent uh, coverage for local stuff and uh, global stuff. So uh, Thomas is pointing to the DailyMail.UK's article on Kirsten Gillibrand's father. Right? Uh, I'm going to take I, just a. I'm going to go through the article and go through the facts, and then we're going to look at the the link between what the accusation is. And who's saying the accusation, right? Because I believe, look, I'm, Congress, I'm running for the Senate, right? <laughs> Candidate for uh, United States Senator. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, sure, I'm a competitor and all that. But but I, I believe in, uh, you know, you don't just go out and smear people and you don't just go make out, uh, make false accusations about people. So let's look at what the article says. And then we'll try to see if there's any truth to it or any validity to what's being said. So according to the uh, Daily Mail.UK, New York Senator Kristen Gillibrand's father has ties to a sex cult whose leader was just arrested at a luxury villa in Mexico and deported back to the U.S. to face labor and sex trafficking charges. Holy shit. She's done, right? <clears throat> Gillibrand's father, Doug Rutnick, has, has tied has ties to alleged sex cult leader Keith Rainier. Oof, Keith Rainier, right? Runick, father, was hired as a lobbyist for Rainier in 2004 and was later sued by him. All right, so that's the big allegation, the big tie-in. Right? This, guy's a, this guy's a sleazeball, Keith Rainier, the sex cult leader, um, no doubt. Right, <clears throat> you'll find out more as I read on. But uh, this guy is a uh, a real a real kook and a you know a sadistic you know son of a bitch, right? Um, but but uh, the the tie in is that Gillibrand's Gillibrand's father, uh, Runick, was a lobbyist in two thousand four. It's a long time ago. So let's continue. Rainier, fifty seven, was arrested in Mexico on Sunday and extradited to Texas and charged with sex trafficking and forced labor conspiracy. He is the leader of a secretive group called Nexium, N-X-I-V-M, it's pronounced Nexium, headquartered in ah, Albany, New York. Pow, gotcha, right? He said, gotcha, right? He said, Albany, New York, that's the capital of New York, if you're watching this from out of town. Capital of New York, that's where all the senators, that's where G Gillibrand operates and Schumer and... And Mr. Cuomo and all those guys, right? they're all up in Albany. Uh, the group has been described <clears throat> by former members as a sex cult and banishes and brainwashes women. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bad bunch of people. Huh? Rainier left the U.S. last year after details of women being branded, branded with his initials. <laughs> this fucking guy's a crazy bastard. GOP senatorial, yeah, here's, here's where the dirt his, this is a dirt slinger. Where, how did this news break? <clears throat> who made the connection? Who found that 2004 uh, piece of evidence that Gillibrand's father did a little lobbying for this guy back in 2004? Guess who? GOP senatorial candidate Shel Farley. Right? She's the Republican running against Gillibrand. Said on Monday that Gillibrand's father, Doug Rutnick, was once a lobbyist for Nexium and its founder, Keith Rainier. Farley said, former for Christian Gillibrand, the self-proclaimed Me Too senator, to claim ignorance about a notorious sex slave cult in her own backyard is simply hard to believe. That's true, right? So what did Gillibrand, how did Gillibrand r respond to this? <clears throat> According to New York Post, Rainier was hired, Rennick was hired by Rainier as a lobbyist in 2004, was sued later, the case was eventually settled for 100 grand, right? On Tuesday, after this broke, on Tuesday, 
Gillibrand's spokesman reiterated a November statement to the New York Post claiming that she knew nothing about the case. I didn't know nothing about it. Why? Well, what case? I don't know what you're talking about. Senator Gillibrand never heard of this group until she recently read about them in the newspaper, said spokesman Glenn Kaplan. See, that, that's, that's the bullshit right there, right? <clears throat> so what you have is politics as usual. You've got the jerk-off Republican Shell Farley, Shell Farley, yeah, Shell Farley. Go to her website. It's all bullshit, right? It's just, just talking head spewing out Republican talking points. Uh, Shell Farley said on Monday that Gillibrand's father. So she's pointing the finger at Gillibrand to, 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 uh, because they don't want to talk about the issues, right? They don't want to talk. What are the issues? The Republicans just fucking, they're in Congress and the Senate looting the country right now, right? You don't want to talk about that. Talk about a sex scandal, uh, a, a guilt by association sex scandal to Gillibrand. And her father, right? And then, right? So that's that's the Republican side. And then, what does the Democrat do? I don't know nothing. Gillibrand, I, Gillibrand, I don't know nothing. What are you talking about? What what next? I've never heard of this fucking. Who's this? That's like, that's right up there with with uh, Hillary Clinton when they caught her on TV, and the reporter asked her, "Did you scrub the servers?" And she goes, "What? What you mean with a with a brush with a with a with a cloth?" Oh no, I didn't know. <laughs> And they try to laugh it off. They fucking, it's just supposed to be high-minded people working for us, and then when they're caught with their with their hand in the cookie jar, I don't know what you're talking about. So, <clears throat> Gillibrand is definitely guilty of not fessing up and not knowing about this corrupt organization when it's going on right in Albany. Right? So let's read on. Members are branded with a sil- with a sib- symbol that includes veneer. And his second in command, Allison Mock's initials. Right, so Allison Mock is apparently some kind of celebrity, some kind of TV show person. I don't give a shit about who she is. Rainier left the U.S. last year after New York Times reported that some women who joined the group in the organization had been branded with the symbols that included his initials. The group, which has been described by former members as a sex cult, claims to be a self-help organization that operates centers in U.S., Mexico, Canada, and South America. The women told investigators they were subject to master-slave conditions that involved physical punishment for disobeying orders. Hmm. Rainier is due to face court on Tuesday according to federal criminal complaint filed in uh, Eastern District of New York. Good. As, as alleged in the complaint, Rainier created a secret society of women who he had sex with and branded with his initials, coercing them with the threat of releasing their highly personal information and taking their assets, uh, taking their assets, said U.S. Attorney Richard P. Uh, Donahue. <clears throat> Many slaves were branded on their pelvic area using a cauterizing pen with a symbol which incorporates Rainier's initials. <laughs> That's fucking sick. The complaint says Rainier founded Nexium about 20 years ago and held a series of purported self-help workshops. Okay, so that's very revealing. This is some crazy guy, right? 20 years ago creates this, in the, in the late 90s, creates this, this self-help pyramid scheme, right? And, you know, maybe, maybe you know, fucking Gillibrand, you got to give it a benefit of the doubt. Gillibrand's father in 2004, he did some lobby work. They're all, you know, they're all whores. They're all, you know, they're all pay-for-play guys, right? So he did a little PR PR for him. You, you got to give him the benefit of the doubt that he wasn't, you know, lobbying for a sex cult. This shit all happened, it, it appears, later, right? The guy went off the, uh, off, the, off the deep end many years later. According to the complaint, Rainier created a secret society next to him called DOS, D-O-S, in 2015, which loosely translated to Lord Master of the Obedient Female Companions, <laughs> or the Vow. <laughs> so, so this shit is all coming about in 2015. Um, when new DOS slaves were... Re- re- it's very interesting. I'm just going to keep going because it's fascinating stuff. When new DOS slaves were recruited, they were required to provide collateral which included highly damaging information about friends and family members, nude photographs, and or rights to the recruiter's assets. Sick, right? It's compromising. This is Democrat. This is the way the Democrats operate, right? They compromise you and then get you to do what you want, right? what they want. The complaint says DOS slaves feared that their collateral would be released by the group if they left. 
During the branding ceremony, slaves were, slaves were required to be fully naked, and a master would order one slave to film the branding, while the others retained this, restrained the slave being branded. Ooh, that's sick. If convicted, Rainier is facing life in prison. Good, throw him away. All right, so here's a tie-in, right? Now, is that really... Here's a sick story, right? This is classic. This is what we get. Instead of policy, we get twisted... You know, you know, sadistic stories like this, and they try to. You know, the Republican now is trying to tie the the Democrat with this story because her father did some business back in two thousand four. So it's guilt by association. It's there's more than a degree of separation between Gillibrand and uh, the the kook that's branding women. Right? Did she know about it? I believe she. I would <clears throat> logical. If a jury were to hear the evidence that a senator from New York didn't know about this crazy fuck going, you know, going around branding women in, 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 uh, and operating right, on, right in her, you know, on her doorstep in Albany, that would be hard to believe. So there I would agree with the Republican in that one. But more importantly, who is Gillibrand? Who is, who is the, so you got the one Republican, that's why I'm running for this. I mean, this is a, this is a great, this is a great seat right here. To, to get both of these idiots out of the way. So Gillibrand, according to the New York Post, is is there's no no one begs for cash more than Kirsten Gillibrand. That's what the Post said. But let's look at her record. Let's look at her uh, voting record. Thank you for posting this in the uh, in the comments down below. In 2009, $192 billion in additional anti-recession stimulus spending. Right. This is what Gillibrand voted for as a senator. She voted to modify the bankruptcy uh, rules to avoid mortgage uh, foreclosures, 2009. All this TARP shit, right? This is all noble, you know, $192 billion in additional anti-recession stimulus, right? She voted yes to the additional $825 billion for economic recovery package, 2009, TARP. She voted yes to to on monitoring TARP funds to ensure more mortgage relief. She voted yes for for fifteen billion dollar bailout for GM and Chrysler, and that's ongoing, right? That there's they, they get more or more and more every year. She voted yet why I don't know. You tell me. You tell me why they still get the money. Voted yes on sixty billion stimulus package for jobs infrastructure. Right. Look, the point is that. That Gillibrand, this is, if you want to tear her down, this is how you do it. She was, how has this worked out? A trillion, a trillion and a half dollars given out to the banks, the thieves themselves, the corporate scum that, that wrecked the economy, were bailed out and rewarded to the tune of a trillion dollars. That's smart. That's good politics. That's looking out for the people. You know, this is fucking so bad all the politicians involved no bankers went to jail right no politicians went to jail no there was no not a single violation of of the law was found right this is the problem right? it's it's the money leaking out the top and Gillibrand has got her hands fucking dirty man she's dirty right? <clears throat> She's also tied to the Clinton Foundation, how the money's flowed in. Because when, when this TARP thing was going on, that was where the scum like the Clintons step in to, to, to launder the money and create a, a pyramid scheme where, where uh, because now bribery is legal, so the money can flow in. Right? It's bad enough that they took the, you know, took the taxpayers' trillion dollars, but now they went even further and they, they increased the debt to $20 trillion. From, from the time Obama got in to, to now, they doubled the debt from ten trillion to twenty trillion dollars in debt, right? And it, and it, where did it go? It's all in their pocket. It all, all, all mo a lot of it has disappeared offshore because because we have all our corporations and our tax laws don't apply anymore to real people. So all the wealth of the country funnels out the top. So the Clintons are dirty on this, of course, because Sheila Brand is in bed with the Clintons. She, they know all about the the real corruption. Right? This is a good piece. I'll just I'll end on this. James Wood, the actor, <clears throat> said about Hillary Clinton and 
you know, Kirsten Gillibrand and all this stuff, right? Their politics, right? Hillary Clinton claimed they were never going to let me be president. They're never going to let me be president, right? Like it's a gift, like 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 it's owed you. That's what Hillary Clinton said in one of her stupid books, right? So James Wood fired back. This is brilliant. Your corruption was not a flesh wound, but a systemic rot of your entire being. Ooh. You were never going. You were never going to let you be president because you are a greedy, lying grifter. Because you are a greedy, lying grifter. Ooh, it's true, right? She is. You weren't born a Clinton, but you took to being one like a duck to swamp water. See, this is this is the shit, right? Finally, are we at a turning point? I mean, are we really? Are we at a point where? Where now people are, are waking up, you know, to, to just how dirty the Clintons are, right? Look at look at Charles Ortel's work, you know, with the investigating the Clinton Foundation. It's so obvious that it's quid pro quo that they were taking money from foreign adversaries, a lot of hostile nations. They were taking a lot of money from the Saudis to instigate the wars in in the Middle East to to, to do the damage, you know, that Israel couldn't do on their own, right? So, so, so that's, that's where we are, you know, so I, I, you know, in conclusion, my summation of this is that Gillibrand is, 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 is corporate scum, is a yes woman, yes, 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 who's giving the money, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 she for the people, hell no, is the Republican right to point, to try to, try to throw a, a, a sign over her father's neck and say that he is, directly linked to a sex kook no that's bullshit that's a that's a that's a bullshit tie-in though it's tantalizing and it's fun to read right but it's not really there's too many degrees of separation between that guy and and uh Gillibrand's father now is Gillibrand guilty of the usual democratic i didn't do it i don't know what you're talking about i didn't see anything i don't know what see who what what is what's nexus nexium i don't never heard of them i never i don't know what you're talking about no i it's i'm seeing it in the paper like you are all right see that's the guilt that's the real fucking guilt right that's the real problem it's like own up to it all right own up to it okay so my name is marcus conti i'm a uh, candidate for the united states uh senate I'm competing against both of these two knuckleheads, right, as a write-in candidate. Vote for me, and uh, you want real change? You want real change? You want a guy, you want me to go in there with real change? Vote for me in 2018. Peace out.